Welcome back to my channel, another beer review. This is by Bowie Beer Company, located in Astoria, Oregon, on the Oregon coast, it is Pale Ale. Bowie has been around since 2013. This is the bottle. All their beers have that signature floating buoy. The only difference is the background color and of course the name of the beer. There is a story on the side that I'll go ahead and read here. It's not on the website. Steady as she goes, the smooth American pale strikes a perfect balance of the sweet and subtle. The confluence of bright citrus flavor from organ grown hops rides atop a current of pale crystal and Munich malts. A northwest dance of the sunny and the stormy that feels particularly at home here in Astoria. Beers up. You won't be able to read that. It, it was even hard for me to read, but that's a story right there. To my knowledge, this beer is available all year round. I do not believe it's a seasonal. This bottle cost me $5. Pale Crystal and Munich malts. By pale, they probably mean two row. That's a base malt, barley. That typically gives a bread, cracker, or dough flavor and also contributes a fermentable sugars for the alcohol. Very light in color. It's almost the lightest you can get. For the crystal malt, it really depends on what they use, which will depend on the flavor it contributes. The lighter colors can be a, contribute a sweetness, candy like. As they get darker, it's more of a caramel, toffee raisin, burnt sugar, and it gets more intense as the numbers go higher. Munich malt is easy. That contributes maltiness. The other malt that's known for maltiness is Vienna, but it's a lighter malt character. I'm unsure which hops they use since they don't say, but they said bright citrus flavor, probably Cascade. That's very common in brewing. It's known to give sometimes grapefruit or lemony. They may have also used a Centennial hop. Columbus or something else. They don't tell what body style it is, but pails are typically medium or full body. 5.2% alcohol, 38 IBU. A deep golden, and I've seen them to where they are a deep amber. The typical American pale I've had ranges anywhere from low hoppiness to very hoppy. It should be more of the malty, sweet, floral, fruity style. There's no exact style for pale ale because they just do so many things with it. As the name implies, they're an ale, not a lager, so they use top fermenting ale yeast. It's faster than the lager, but it doesn't quite have the clean profile. Most of the strains I've used in brewing tend to really bring out the malt flavors. medium golden color or even a light copper depending on your perspective you can see right through it just like tinted glasses no sediment on the bottom nothing floating in here as you can tell cold crash kettle finings medium to high flocculating yeast all the tricks and tr uh, brewers use to make a beer clearer i'm sure it is not filtered that's very unusual to do that the head has died down quite a bit it was about quarter of an inch then died down to an eighth of an inch. Very lightly carbonated. As a matter of fact, there's only just a few strands of bubbles, a few stragglers going the top. This is very nice, accurate, beautiful color for a pale. I get light citrus out of the aroma, possibly that lemony note. I do get some earthy herbal maybe even some pine out of it. Aromas are wafting up very gently, tickling, teasing my nose, but they're really pleasant. I don't get any malty or sweet or floral notes of like as in a forest smelling pine trees and just those herbal aromas, I love it. Opens up my mouth, gives a thin coating top and bottom. Well, it's building up a little bit, I should say. I get covered in some light herbal and citrusy notes along the bottom of my mouth. They keep sweeping back and forth. I'm noticing some earth tones in there as well. This tastes medium body. Not hoppy, just has a little bit of a hop nibbling to it, primarily in the back of my mouth and on the bottom. Cracker bread and all that. I'm not getting that at this point. From the Munich malt, I was anticipating 
more of a multi-backbone, and that's not detectable yet. It's all about those hop notes as far as a citrus, herbal, earthy. And they're not overpowering, they're pleasant, gentle on my palate. It's still coating the top and bottom of my mouth with that light citrus. I'm thinking gentle lemon, herbal notes, and earthy and pine. It stays around for a little while, leaves a nice residual flavor, and slowly disappears. There's a little bit of a spicy tingle to it from some hops. Carbonation is very light in it. I am getting a little bit of a bread crackery flavor back in here, but it's really faint. There might be a hint of a sweetness trying to peek out between those aromatics, the hops. Now they say bright citrus flavor. I don't think it's bright, but it's present. Not getting any toasted notes out of this. The sweetness from the caramel has pretty much subsided. I never did get that malty background from the Munich I thought I might. They may not have used much in this. This is definitely more about those herbal, citrusy hops than it is about the malts. There's still that hop nibbling on the backbone. It's not chewy or thin and watery. It's right about mid-range. This is a good summer warm weather drinking beer. I think the recipe is medium complex because they used three malts in it and probably at least two types of hops. They, they did let the hops shine through. Not overpowering but noticeable. It has a very restrained multi profile. Once again it coats my mouth entirely top and bottom. Gentle sweeping back and forth. Herbal, earthy, light floral, lemony citrus notes with that hop nibbling all down here at the bottom. The coating just stays there for a decent amount of time. It, it tastes a little bit closer to full body. It's not a hoppy. It leaves residual flavors that slowly evaporate, but that nibbling sticks around for a fair amount of time. I get some spicy nuts out of it. I believe I can taste a little bit of bread and biscuit back there from a two row. Now the sweetness I had out of the glass, I didn't get that right away and I just had slight hints of it. I'm not getting those hints now. Definitely citrus, floral, earthy, and herbal. The citrus flavors from the hops are definitely shining through. I am still getting residuals from that hop nibbling. It's not overpowering. It's a little more than I'd like to have, but still not bad. There is still no maltiness, no sweetness, no candy. I really feel the malt's taking a backseat to this, which is a little disappointing because I would like the full complement of those flavors. It's not chewy at all. It's definitely not thin and watery. It's just but mid-range as I've described. The recipe still tastes like it's somewhat complex. It has a good character, good profile to it. I'm not getting anything out of the bottle I didn't get out of the glass. I've never had a buoy beer that had not flavor to it. The usual list being diacetyl, chemical, astringency, Fusel alcohols, paint thinner, nail polish, rubbing alcohol, DMS, papery notes, skunking. Their quality control is very good. They have great experience. They do good work. Would I buy this again? I would buy the occasional bottle of it. I like it, but I don't love it. But I still think it's a good beer. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. I think if you like American Palos, you would like this one. This beer met most of my expectations, not all of them. I wish the malts would have been a little more forward uh, and the bitterness you know, level would have been a little bit less obvious, but still overall, I think they did a good job this beer. I am pleased with it. I would say it's a just overall average, but still well done. I like it. Bowie Beer Company out of Astoria, Oregon. American Pale Ale. If you have any comments about this beer or other beer or any questions about beer that I can answer for you, send me a message. That's all for this review. If you like this video, find it helpful and informative, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Cheers!
There are some do, do 15, Jesus Christ. Uh. They did a well, fuck. Uh, uh, what else, what am I trying to say here? Shit, God damn it. Uh, f I don't know what more to say on that one, shit. Maybe even subscribe to my channel. Nah, it doesn't matter, nah, fuck that. Send me a like and maybe subscribe. To, nah, I, why do I keep saying maybe? 